as we come now to the B final for Division 2. And straight away, Alamaki, who was in fact the lead, the winner of the C final, he comes through from the back of the grid to have to settle for initially third place and then second place as uh, Rolf Nielsen makes the better start to lead Alamaki and Nordstedt in the Beetle. Right at the back of the field, we just saw Martin Aroldson in the Sunbeam, and as I said earlier, he will certainly be somebody to watch later on in the series. Surprisingly, at this point, Nielsen is managing to hold Alamaki, but Alamaki makes a big break for it over the top of the loose there, over the hill, goes very, very wide, almost at the banking, but remarkably, the, sweet, the finished driver, he still manages to hold the power down on the circuit, and he still manages to retain his second place. Nielsen it was, who was the winner in that one, Alamaki and Nordstedt in the Beetle. Here we see Alamaki again. He tries to take Nielsen around the outside, goes very wide, the back of the Porsche goes up the banking, but still he manages to hold it. Now, because of a 10 second penalty, we've, uh, we find that uh, Nielsen has been dropped from winning the B final, so it's Alamaki there who comes through from the back of the grid, as he did in the B final, to take third place behind Schenker and Ole Arnison. Martin, though, he really needs to win this one. He hasn't won around in the series so far. He's in front of his home crowd, and what more could you expect from the Norwegian? A good result for uh, Bolnes at two on fourth place uh, in front of Vitanen from Finland, fifth place, and uh, Valdun from Sweden in the Beatle on, on sixth place. Yes, Bolnes said he's doing very well there with the Quattro. He seems to have got the hang of it now. He had a lot of trouble with it early in the season, but now he's got it all together, and fourth place is really very, very good, especially when you think of who's in front of him. Martin there again, another driver who likes to control the racing from the front. He's staying just in front of Arneson. He doesn't try to drive too far out, and there he is taking the chequered flag, and you'll see how pleased he is with this particular victory. Martin is always the showman there, spinning his car. Meanwhile, Bonnesek comes over the finish line to take fourth place behind Alamaki, the latter, in fact, still managing to retain his lead in the series.